Hi, Dyslexic Genius here, Brett Hurt. My phone number is 864-236-1680, or you can email me at dyslexicgeniushurt at gmail.com. But first, I have to discuss my two little fur babies you see sometimes on video. One, I'm assuming was the gray one, ate the belt off our triumph. My sweet wife says, they would never do that, but Mocha has this thing about the belting. So let's talk about an Edison home. I got a message from a collector in Australia who was doing one and wanted to watch a video on the home. But first, let me show you something. You see the governor? Watch when I spin the governor. You see a problem? It's wiggling like this. Why is the governor wiggling? Well, Someone put in the wrong governor spring here, which set this weight off, which unbalances the governor, which means on a restoration, you're gonna to have to change this spring or change all three springs. You can get those online. And you can see what they do is you have, on the governor springs, you have a big hole and a little hole, and I've discussed I'm rebuilding that in aligning this. So if it was, you got it all together and you're going, why is everything wobbling? Well, that's the wobble. You want to look and see what's wrong first on any phonograph. An Edison home motor is the same as a standard, a gem, a fireside. They're just a little bit smaller, spring barrel size, gear sizes. How do I get the spring barrel out? Well, I'll discuss that first. First, you need to remove the brake, which is this screw here. Then, this casting, as the whole gear train pops off, you have a screw here and here. And then you have a screw here and here. But notice something. This screw here is rounded, which is supposed to be. Someone has been into this motor years ago. That screw's not right. First, we have to get the governor off the machine. So we've removed the brake. We're going to loosen this screw. And we're going to loosen this screw. And we're going to gently hold it like this and make sure the bearings move back and forth. Because sometimes these are kind of stuck in place. You might have to use some oil or something in here, blast off to get this, these done. If you have tension on the spring barrel, and I don't because I can feel this that we don't have any tension, but if you have tension on the barrel, you're going to have to pull this bearing out because the governor moves this wave when it drives back because this flexes like that. You're going to have to put your hand on the spring barrel or get someone to help you hold the spring barrel. And you need to pop the governor out first. You don't want to damage the gear here or the gear here. These are brass. Once you let it out, you can just release this. The machine's going to do a little whine noise. It's going to scare you probably, but it won't hurt it. And then you know everything's wound down. So to get this gear train out, you undo those two screws, and this whole gear train just pops off that way. And you can do it mounted to the casting with these lifts I made years ago. You can use wood, just use a wood screw to tighten this down. It helps you work on the machine. You pull that out, then the spring barrel pops out. And because these early ones have holes in the castings here, you can see on video, you see my screwdriver sticks in there. And this plate has to come off. This will all remove. You'll kind of wiggle this, and it'll pop out of the center of the, of the spring. If it doesn't, you can pull the whole spring out. I have videos on how to pull the spring out with this in it. And then this one's loose. You can see this. If it was, if I, after you put it back together, you kind of want to, Lightly center punch the edge of this 
so this will press in place. This, is, this one's loose. I'd fix that on a restoration. Once you get it apart, the wonderful thing about this is that we have cell phones now, iPads. Once you get this out and get it set down, you pull the drive shaft off right here. And then the casting has three shafts just like this. There's one here, there's one in the lower part, and there's one right under the governor right here. And that's six screws. They're all the same. So if you get them mixed up, don't worry. You just, they just all go back in. You undo the six screws. You know that the drive gear here for the governor goes here. This comes off, this, this drives off this, which drives off this. This is the spring barrel gear. You have this gear, which drives a little gear, which drives this gear, which drives that gear, which drives this gear, which drives the governor. That's how it all works, just like a little clock. Once you get it assembled, you can set it down. You can undo the screws, pop the plates. Sometimes they're a little sticky. And you can say, oh, so if I pull this plate off, I set the plate here and the screws, and then I can just put the gears. And you can always revert back to your pictures. I could do this like blindfolded. You know, this is a lot of fun. These are just little tips. The other little tip is, if you have these, you can use wood and run a small wood screw through the casting where this bolts down into the cabinet. That way, you can have the whole top works in place, bolt everything together. These are the, the screws right here that hold the casting in place. The other little holes right here is an indention on the top casting that holds it in place and there's rubber under those and rubber under these. And you can have it set up with these shafts this way and you can set everything up. You can set the belting, fine tune the machine, you can flip it back and forth. It's a lot of fun. And this is my tip for the day.